Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to jump straight into this video so I can show you guys how I achieved this look. Now first things first, we're going to start off with this ball cap. Yes, I wipe my makeup off, giving very much moon face. But right now I'm going to show you guys how I slay my wig and stone. And today's hair is provided by Amanda Hair. This is a 24 inch deep wave wig, okay? And it is a lace frontal wig. It does feature, you know, the elastic band in the inside, you know, to adjust your wig to fit. And y'all, I did go ahead and bleach the knots, of course, and I did go ahead and pluck this wig some more. And this wig did not um, match my natural hairline, but y'all already know when it's time to, you know, get in there and get to cutting that lace off everything is going to work out just fine so right now i'm just going to start off by cutting the extra you know um wig from around my ears that way my wig can sit comfortably i usually do this after um i apply the glue but y'all already know you're applying the wig on yourself it is a little harder you know because you don't really have nobody to help you um hold your wig into place but i'm gonna show you why it's really not going to be needed today but now I'm just going to take my Ruby Kisses foundation in level 15 and I'm applying a mixture of that darker and that lighter shade together. And I'm just applying it underneath the lace and on top of the lace as well. And um, I did, you know, clean my hairline and everything already and I used the uh, skin protectant to, you know, protect my skin from um, the adhesive. Because as y'all know, and if y'all tuned into my last video, I will be using uh, the new and approved formula of the Lace Melt Adhesive, which is Lace Melt Adhesive Max. It is the maximum strength. Um, I'm just going to let y'all see how it works for itself. I ain't even going to do too much talking. But I took that heat protector and now I'm taking my layers of that Lace Melt Max, which will release on March 14th, aka my birthday, which is next Monday, y'all. So get ready, get ready. And I'm just taking my edge brush and I'm just going to go ahead and spread all of those layers right onto my skin and also at the edge of my cap. Now as you can see where I'm laying that glue is directly where I removed all that makeup with that 99% uh, alcohol. So that's why I look super, super clean right there. And you want to make sure you apply as many layers as you like. But for me today, I'm going to be using five layers. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start by sticking the middle of my wig on. And like I mentioned, y'all, usually I would need somebody to hold the sides down. But with this Lace Melt Max, it is so strong, y'all, that when you literally put the wig into the spot, it's already stuck. Like, it's already stuck. Like, it's already stuck. It was This wig was so tight. That my eyes went from regular to like extra, extra chinky. Like, I don't even know if you guys notice how chinkier my eyes look now. And that's how you know your wig is tight and it is on. Do y'all see it? Giving a girl's Asian doll, period. And yes, like I mentioned, <laughs> it's stuck, baby. It ain't going nowhere. So now I'm going to just take my milk bell and go ahead and tie down my lace. And I'm just going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. And of course, when I come on to remove it, we're going to begin to cut that extra lace and, you know, really get into this meltdown. So, like I mentioned, she stuck. She ain't going nowhere, period. And to match my natural hairline, I'm going to go ahead and cut off all that extra lace that is not needed. And y'all can see right there, we're giving the girls a scalp, period, period, bang. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, lace lighter. Now, I would recommend, y'all, don't be lazy. At this point, I was just being real lazy, and I did not feel like walking upstairs to get a fresh lace glider. So, this one is a little bit on the old side, but make sure you don't be lazy. Get you a fresh lace glider and, you know, cut that extra lace off because it would go so much more smoother and faster. But because I was being lazy, I had to do extra work. So, as I mentioned, get you a fresh razor. That way, you don't have to do as much as I was doing here. Um, because it was not fresh, but once it's fresh, you know, it'll just glide across and do its job. But I'm just going to go ahead and begin to cut the extra lace off and tap down whatever else is still lifting.
Now here is the extra work that I mentioned you guys will have to do if you do not use a fresh razor. You will have to go back inside and tack down those little pieces right there because if you were using a fresh razor, it would have cut um, everything that was not glued down already. And that way that means it was not needed or it was, you know, not necessary for your hairline. But I, if I, like you know, like I always mentioned in my previous videos, if you do need it, however, to match your hairline, you know, just go ahead and tack it down. So as y'all can see, I'm gonna slide about three to four layers of that uh, lace melt max underneath those little creeks, and then I'm just going to kind of zoom in for you guys so you guys can see how it really pushed right into my skin. So just keep watching. And of course, as I mentioned, that lace pushes right into that skin, just like you need it to be. And I'm just taking the brush part of my edge brush to really just get it down in there and it is stuck. So now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat these steps to the other side. And you know, to me, um, my lace did look slightly lighter than my scalp, but y'all know I'm gonna go ahead and go in and correct that. I'm gonna just use a darker foundation. So for those who ask, how do you get rid of that little light halo around your hairline? I'm making sure you are using a foundation that is dark enough to really just like make it blend as natural as possible or if you like to use lace tint and you know a really really lace tint that works really good like wonders just drop that down in the comments and i would love to give it a try as well um i used to do the whole lace tint thing and you know i used to like it and then i didn't like it and then i liked it again and i didn't like it so i'm just trying like to find you know the top products to do it but yes honey wig is secure we ain't going nowhere we take that down so now we're gonna go ahead and you know get that foundation to blend more perfect and then of course move on to our steps but first i'm gonna go ahead and just take my comb and create my curved part i do want my part kind of deep so i'm gonna part it from the front all the way to the back and bring it around just a little bit this is a regular 13 by 4 part of the space but you know the front tip was pretty like big one here which i really really loved about this wig so i can get a nice little lengthy uh, part so i'm just gonna go ahead and you know get my part all curved how i want it some people like to do straight parts i used to be a straight part girl but it's like once i got introduced to the curved part it just became everything to me like i just love the way it looks so I'm just, you know, getting my part together and then I'm going to pull down a section for the baby has, of course. And y'all could just see how melted into my skin that lace is. Like, <laughs> Lace Melt Max is not playing with y'all, okay? And that's on period per. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and just pull those sections out of the way. And um, once I get that done, I'm going to go in with a darker foundation, which would be the Java color that I will be using. And just apply that on my hairline. Just use a little of some um, ISO Plus holding spray. I ran out of Tresemme, and the hairstyle I went to didn't have Tresemme. So I just grabbed what they got real quick and just lightly spread across the hairline. But yeah, I'm going to put on the baby hairs, get the um, you know, darker foundation, spray my hairline and then tie it down again.
Oh, and how could I forget to mention that I will be using my Glam Wax Stick, which will be back in stock soon, you guys. I know you guys need them. I want them. Yes, I know I'll be sold out. That's the goal, but I'm definitely going to restock on all of the products, though. Just work with me. Be patient, y'all. But, um... I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, use the wax stick and just hot comb that in. Ooh, that's so natural. I just love it, love it, love it. And I did want, like, a big curly look, so I did not, like, soak and wet the curls. I just wanted a nice little poofy look. But now I'm finally going to take that Java foundation after I pretty much, like, prepped my whole styling process. And I'm just taking that darker shade and just dabbing it across the hairline. And this is when I will take the isoplus holding spray, spray it, and then tie it down. So now it's time to remove that melt fail and baby, oh, you see me, hold on, wait, yes, period, poo, giving a girl scalpiana, giving a girl stuck like Chuck, giving a girl don't play with that lace melt max, period, no one approved, extra maximum strength, y'all. Yes, love it. Now, at this point, I was just kind of like seeing like what different styles I could do. I thought about even doing like a swoop with the curly hair. Hmm, thinking, yeah, whatever. Just keep it simple because my birthday in a couple days anyway, and I want to be switching up the look. Well, I'm going to be putting on a whole new wig. Yeah, let's be real. But, um, so I went ahead and did my baby hairs off camera, y'all. It was one of those days where it was like, you know what? These baby hairs is not going to piss me off. So I just kind of went and, you know, um, did the baby hairs off camera. And as y'all can see, my lashes even was off at this point because I could not get the baby hairs right. And I just felt like the lashes was a distraction and they was getting on my damn nerves. So I did go ahead and remove them. And I was like, you know what? When um, I finished, you know, getting everything how I needed to be, um, then I would go ahead, you know, touch my makeup up and then put the lashes back on. So right now I'm just making sure everything is super smooth as far as the roots. I know I done did this like three times, but you know, you just want to get it as neat as possible. So I'm just hot combing all that down while I'm letting the edges dry completely after swooping them and everything. And then I will go ahead and remove that melt belt and, you know, I'm going to add some mousse first. So I will be using the Icy Mousse and I showed you guys this mousse before in one of my previous videos as far as doing like the mousse baby hairs because it is alcohol free. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that mousse and just get the curls, you know, defined. But I don't want the hair, as I mentioned, to be soaking wet. Like I want the wig to be very puffy still. Just, you know, I just want the curls to be defined. So... I'm just going to take that mousse and mousse the curls up just a little bit so it can have that puffy look but with that defined curled puffy look. So once I get all that mousse in there, I'm going to go ahead and remove the melt belt, um, conceal my part. I'm not going to use any black spray because I like how um, natural, naturally wide the part was. So I'm going to go ahead and just like conceal it after I apply the mousse and then touch up my makeup, put my lashes back on and show y'all like the real, real finishing look. And if you have not noticed or if you did and wondering what the heck, yes, I have a one contact. Yes, I had lost the other one for a little bit, but I ended up finding it in my purse later. Even though I looked at my purse like 10 times and I didn't see it the first 10 times. But nevertheless, um, yeah. So if I look a little weird in the eye area, yes, I have on one contact and I have my regular eyes out. But um, this is what it looks like after I removed the melt bell. I just did my baby hairs a little different today. I never just do like two. I always do like three on each side. But I just did like the exaggerated two baby hairs on each side. And now I'm just going to go ahead and conceal that part up and then, you know, come back on and show you guys the, the bad B that I am. So stay tuned for the finishing look. And if you didn't already, just go ahead and, um, you know, subscribe because you know you feel the vibes, period. And this is what the hair looks like. And I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all, bam. Don't play with me, period, Pooh. period. Giving the girls, uh, 
chinky eyes, my wig so tight, giving a girl slate curls, giving a girl's raw install, giving a girl scalpiano, giving a girl's bad bitch, period. Yes, I gave me a little touch up on the makeup, put my lashes back on, and I'm out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all excited for this March Madness series. We started off simple, but it's finna get lit. So subscribe, turn on your bells, and I will see you next time.